guys, it's me Shimon from Droid Now, and today we have Zolo Play. So, what you're waiting for? Let's unbox this. Here, as uh, you see, it's just a moderate packaging, as you always get with, with your smartphone. And uh, yeah, that's your device. Let's open it. Let's keep it aside for a moment. That's the screen guard which you get in the box. Yeah, proprietary screen guard. Now, if you open the box, you get two compartments one on the left and one on the right. On the left, on the left, you have the USB cable, as you can see, and you get the headphones. Let me open these up. These are not the in-ear earphones that you uh, usually get with the smartphones, but let's see how these perform. The, uh, this cable is dangle-free. It's like spaghetti type cable, flat cable, and it's easy to manage. Moreover, you get the charger. Yes. Hmm. That's the charger. You can just insert the cable as you always do. Oh, it's kind of loose. Yeah, it's not tight. It's kind of loose. I hope it charges. I mean, it doesn't cause any problem while charging the mobile. Okay. And what else do we have? We have the quick start guide and the safety warranty legal information. That's it. Let's keep the box aside and see what's there in the device. So this is the Zolo Play. It's got a 4.7 inch display, just 720p with 312 ppi. It's a IPS LCD, and uh, you know when you just hold it in your hand, you need to hold it for the first time. It feels a bit bulky. If not bulky, I would say that. You won't fear, I mean, dropping it off. It's sturdy. Yeah, look, it's not thin. You can see? And on the back, you have this NVIDIA Tegra branding. And these the Zolo, the camera, and the flash. It's interesting how this design looks. Really interesting. And here's the speaker grill. On the right hand side, you've got the power button the volume rocker on the top you have the USB slot yes. and the headphone jack on the left hand side is totally bare and on the bottom you have got the mic so this camera on the back it's 8 megapixel and it's got an LED flash as you can see it can record videos in full HD resolution at 30 FPS which is yeah, this is really amazing. Okay, if you can see, you've got the secondary mic over here. I don't know if the camera can catch it. Yeah, over there. That's the secondary mic. On the front, it has all those proximity sensors, the earphone grill, and the touch sensitive buttons over here. So, this front facing camera is of 2 megapixel. So, let's power up the device. As you unlock the device, you're greeted with a stock Android type lock screen. You got you just get camera on the left, Google on the top, and unlocking the screen by swiping right. So this is the home screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me turn on the brightness. As you can see, you get quick toggles over here. Yeah. Yeah, these are the quick toggles like you find on TouchWiz and the other other more skins out there it doesn't have that two finger swipe down thingy it's right over on the top and uh, yeah it's not totally stock android but it's like they've added their own features and it's pretty pretty close to stock android so it's normally all the five home screens you get right and here's the app drawer. Simple, just as found on the stock Android. 
these are the widgets, those were the apps, yeah, that's all about it. As you can see, out here, these are the touch sensitive buttons, and I must say, although they are lighting up, but it's quite dark, and seriously, those are lighting up, but you can't make out their, I mean, if, if you're in a dark situation, like, not dark situation, by a dark situation, I mean you're like in night or in a dark room, you cannot see these buttons, they're way too dark, seriously. And one more thing, when you breathe, you know, just press these buttons, there's no vibration feedback. I know you can set it from settings, but it's not available. The vibration feedback is available only for, you know, the touchscreen response. As I'm pressing the app, app drawer button, it vibrates. But as on the touchscreen buttons, no, it's not there. So, that's the basic thing, I mean, yeah, the phone feels snappy. After all, it's powered by, you know, the NVIDIA Tegra 3, quad-core processor clocked at 1.5 GHz, with a, combined with ULP GeForce GPU. Seriously powerful, it's really, really powerful. Plus, it's got 1 GB RAM, and it's got 4 GB internal memory, which is pretty low. As you can see, the total storage is about 2 GB, yeah, over 2 GB, I was wrong, that's not, that's not 1 GB, it's like 2 GB and above, out of 4 GB. Moreover, you can just expand the memory to 32 gigs via uh, memory card. It's got a slot on the back, let me show you the back. This is the removable back. It's not any body construction. Yes, as you open up, you get just the battery. It's 2000 mAh lithium ion battery, and uh, here's the SIM slot and here's memory card slot. So, you see, it's not hot swappable. You have to remove the battery and then you have to insert the SIM. And one thing that I noticed that I thought this was NFC. Yeah, I want this sticker. I thought it was NFC, but no. That's something else. I don't know why. And uh, here's some interesting thing. When you remove the cover, you actually expose these buttons. So like these, when you put the cover on. <laughs> nice touch. It's nothing that I would desire to have in each phone. This was just interesting. So, let's cover up other things on this phone. So let's start with the camera. So, it, I mean the viewfinder lags a bit. I mean when you're moving the phone you can actually see the lag on the screen, right? I don't know why it's there. The, you know, the pictures you take are in 4 issue 3. Yeah, let's take a picture of this box. Click. I wouldn't say that was instant, but uh... Hmm. The quality is fine, I must say. For 8 MP, it, it does good. Really good. The camera interface is not stock as you can see. You can zoom in from here. You have additional options from here, like video mode. You can shoot a video right away. Currently, as far as I can see, it's you know recording at full HD resolution, and still the viewfinder isn't very smooth. It lags, lags a bit, but it's like stable. Okay, that's it. I can mix the photos from here directly. Back to the camera. So the another mode you have is the panorama mode. You can shoot a panorama at your own will. Moving on, in the camera section you have multiple options. As you can see, you can choose the scene mode, you can set the exposure, you can just set the auto, I mean, the white balance not available right now, nor is the flash, I don't know why. Moreover, you can just select the store location, I mean, you can save the location of the picture you have taken, picture size, focus mode, 
You can select the phone storage too and switch on the face detection as per your needs. Going back, pressing this button right over the top, we'll switch to the front facing camera. Hey, what's up? Okay. So, that's nice. That's all about it. So, now let's go to the music section and see how it performs when it comes to multimedia. Let's see which songs do we have here. <laughs> let's go for this one. So it doesn't have its own proprietary uh, music app, it's the Play Music app which you get on stock Android that utilizes that one itself. Now you can just hear the music, use the 50% volume and just try to hear and feel the music. Round one. See the speaker. Okay, other thing you see when you're, when you're playing the music. So other thing you see when you're playing the music, if you just access the lock screen, you get this thing over here. Which I think is quite big. I mean, why? Why do you need this much of space? Why? It's not, I mean, not even the album art is there that you're just taking this much of space. Nor is there the seeking ability. I don't know why. So let's see what's how it does in full volume. Okay, now just let's keep it on the surface and see how I mean how does the sound part is. I would say, pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with the sound quality. I mean, I would load a little bit bass, a little more bass, but still, it's fine. I really enjoyed it. So that's it, guys. That was a quick hands-on on Zodo Play, and we'll update you on more happenings with Zodo Play. Till then, bye, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that's the foremost thing. Subscribe and like this video. And yeah, please drop a comment if you if you like to suggest us something. That really helps us a lot to improve and to act upon our videos. So that's me, Shimon, signing off, and I'll meet you in the next video. Bye bye.